Hello, how are you? Good. That was quite a day of awesome sessions. Right? It was pretty jam-packed. Um, nothing went too long. I liked actually uh, how, how it, pretty much every session was all the way up to the last minute. Like, we were getting questions and answers in there. It seemed like people were really attentive to, to the topics. So that was awesome to see. Am I less, like, slow-mo? Yeah, you're good now. now. Okay. Yeah, and I can you, hear you in everything. How's your micro trip feeling? It's fine. It's starting to feel a little bit of an ache where I got the, the pokey, but, yeah. you know, got the sticker <laughs> on. Yeah. Moderna or Pfizer? Modern B, because Modern A is the first shot. Modern B is the... Uh, I'm going to make <laughs> that happen. I, I, I learned that it's Modern... Mod to RNA, actually, which blew my mind when I figured that out. I didn't right? know that. Yeah, That's I didn't conspiracy. Know that. you know, the first one kind of kicked my butt. I felt like I had a flu for like two or three days. That was not fun. Well, we're here to wrap up the day. And once again, I definitely just want to say thanks uh, to the presenters. Everyone did an amazing job presenting. And uh, also, thanks again to the artist who worked on the hallway track. I think we, um, I had fun in there. I think we learned some things. And if <laughs> folks have some input on that, I would invite you to leave a, a, a comment on this ticket that I just put into the chat. So ideally, we would get some feedback and make another iteration of this, an improved iteration for Nest with Fedora, which is coming up in a couple of months. So feel free to leave your feedback and ideas, um, and we'll see what we can do with that. Marie, uh, is the call for participation open for Nest yet? <laughs> well, Ben, yes, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, uh, we just put out a blog post here, and I wanted to get it out before this release party, so we could talk about it a little bit here. Um, the dates have been announced for Nest, and those are going to be, let me look at them so I don't say it wrong, August 5th through 8th. i um, pretty sure that's a Thursday through Sunday. Um, and the CFP is now open. And since I'm working on a longer time frame, like I didn't get into Hopin last year before now, like three weeks in advance. So we have a longer time frame. We've opened the CFP a lot earlier. We plan on doing things a bit earlier and by we, I mean mostly me. So hopefully it goes as scheduled and planned. Um, and super looking forward to what people have, to, uh, ideas people have for the event. Um, we've done a lot of different things, um, like social wise, we've done team building events, we've done VR, now we're trying hallway track things. Last year we did Minecraft. And I know there's some talk of mind test, um, you know, so, Totally interesting stuff, and we can go uh, where folks are interested as far as the event and what we want to do with it. So feel free to open a ticket there on the block Fajor repo. And it doesn't have to be for a session. It could be for an idea of a social activity or something like the ones we're talking about right now. So open and ready for ideas. I am actually looking forward to it, So it, which is saying something because there are yes. there are literally no other virtual events present company accepted that i've been looking forward to so uh it's it's yeah. gonna be awesome um, it's been getting a little a little tiring but every time we we have a fedora event i just sense the excitement in the community like in the channels and it's just like working up everyone's been so excited about the release too and i just have to say so our last uh, <laughs> um, so our last release party, just a little bit of, of stats for people. So the F33 release party, we had 229 registrations and 175 people showed up. At this event so far, we've had, I think, over 400 registrations and about, uh, I think, over 260 people have in actual attendance. So we're way past the numbers for our F33 release party. And I think it's just a, a nice, yeah, a nice stat to see how 
<laughs> a nice stat to see how the community is growing and how the online events have really been a positive thing for Fedora, even though you know we're all living with COVID. Um, this part has been positive, and I've heard a lot of feedback from individual folks in the community telling me, you know, personally how much they enjoy the social hour or the events and what they're getting out of the their time with the Fedora community. So that's really exciting. I, for one, am really excited for next year's flock in person. Let's try and get 400 people to that yes. event. That's that's my <laughs> that's my goal now. We'll try. You know what? I bet we could get more if we do a hybrid event. Perhaps. We'll have to figure out how to actually make that work well. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's try not to be the first people to do it. That's going to be my go-to. one of our foundations. <laughs> oh, I mean, we'll be the first one to do it. Uh. We'll be the first one to do it well. That's it's there the we go. leading edge, but not bleeding edge. <laughs> I, hope to have a, I hope you have a haircut by Ness, too, Ben. Well, you're almost all the way vaccinated. You get one in a almost. couple weeks. Yeah. Um, so, so we have an awesome lineup for tomorrow, too. Um, there's some community-type things we're looking at. The website and apps revamp with i3. There's also a how to join Fedora session. So if you have folks that maybe are kind of interested in joining Fedora, but they're not sure how, this would be a great session to send them to. There will be a recording. I realize it's on a Saturday. Um, also, uh, Neil is going to be talking about KDE. We have a presentation on the new Fedora logo, as well as the Fedora zine. And I don't want to and leave anybody out. Grayson, no, I think that was everybody. I, I, the comment in the chat was, uh, being a kid, you have no way to get to flock. I would actually like to have a teenager's track. Um, so uh, may, maybe cool. we could figure something out there. Yeah, that would be rad. And also, I'm doing the social in the middle of the day, and it's going to be Pictionary. So I hope everyone <laughs> comes along <laughs> for that. It should be a fun time. Um, OK. One question for the people who are in the chat right now watching. Should we reduce the number of maps for the hallway track? Yes. Yes. More yes. or fewer smaller maps. OK, so it doesn't work quite that easily. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to just choose one of them for us to hang it out in. Um, tomorrow. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll switch up the information in the reception and I'll link it up into the general event chat so we know which one we're doing and hopefully we cross paths with each other a little bit more. Cool. Karaoke and everything map. Oh yeah, put your votes in the, in the, in the chat right now. <laughs> The arcade was super cool too. Which one was I, that? I did enjoy getting lost in the maze. That was fun. Um, but then then I was through it, so. OK, uh, <laughs> we've been asked to make a poll, so clearly that's where we have to go with this. I'll put it up. What time do we start tomorrow morning, Marie? Hopefully not too early. I mean, I think I wrote I, the schedule. Yeah, you, you <laughs> um, did. Yeah, you did. It's 9 AM. <laughs> 9 AM, OK. But social time starting before that. Right. It is, it is. So I, I'm, I'll be around starting at 8 AM uh, Eastern time, so that's 12 PM UTC. And uh, that, that hour will be kind of just to hang out and chat. And then sessions start at 1 p.m. UTC. Sound good? I think that's all European's I really got. Europeans are voting for us to wake up earlier, but. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I understand. <laughs> yes. I Thank understand. you, Europeans, for giving us so many of your evenings. We appreciate it. Very much so. You know, I have to say, we should be thanking the folks in India even more. Right, the 2 a.m., 4 a.m., yep. They're uh, always hanging out. I'm like, Vipul, how are you at this 1 p.m. meeting? What are you doing here? It's got to be like midnight there. So, yeah, same with some, I work with a bunch of people who live in India, and they're always up late, so thank you. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Thank, and, thank and you for being so adaptable. And other places in Asia and around the world as well. Yes. Absolutely. Everybody. Um. <laughs> um, so that's all I really have except uh, thanks. And I'm probably going to go take a nap. That's an excellent plan. 
I will yep. see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Yeah, see everyone tomorrow. I'm going to put that poll up as soon as I jump off the call. See everybody. Bye.